Hello and welcome to Servantex Online Tutorials. My name is Kristen and today we'll be looking at the Media Manager in the back end of our website. So if you would like to upload an image to an article or upload an image to use in a module, the way that we're going to do this is by using the Media Manager, which is located under the Site tab in our Joomla backend. So if we click on the Site tab and scroll down, you'll see the third item is the Media Manager. Uh, you can simply click this link to arrive at the Media Manager, or you can also click the icon on the control panel itself, which says Media Manager. And once we arrive at the Media Manager, you'll notice that there are several folders as well as um, several images, which are used at some point on our site. We're going to be putting our images that we're going to use on the website in the Stories folder. So you'll always see a Stories folder when you arrive at the Media Manager. And if you click this, we can see all of the images that are currently being used on our website. If we ever wanted to look at the image in its actual size, we can simply click on the image and we'll see as it appears in its actual size in this pop-up. Now, there are different ways that you can organize your photos once you or images once you are inside the Stories folder. If you wanted to create a subdirectory to put certain photos in that are going to go on a certain section of your site, you can type in the name of the folder that you'd like to give it. Uh, we'll call this one Tutorial. Hyphen Images. Now, you're going to want to make sure you stay away from uppercase letters in the names of these files, and you're also going to want to stay away from spaces. Um, so you can put a hyphen instead of a space or an underscore instead of a space. So we will create this folder. And now, as you see, within the Stories folder, which we've already clicked on, we now have four subdirectories, one of which is the Tutorial Images folder, which we just created. Now if we were to click on this, you'll notice we don't have any images in this folder yet because we've only just created it. So if we'd like to upload an image from our own system, we can click the Browse button at the bottom. And I will search my computer for an image that we can upload. And once you click Open, you just go to Start Upload and we will see the picture appear in our Media Manager. Now again, if we want to see the size of this, this uh, particular image is only a thumbnail, so it'll shrink it down pretty small. This is the actual size of our image. We can close this and we'll be back in the Tutorial Images folder. Now if we want to navigate to a level above this folder, which would be the Stories folder, as you can see above, we'll simply click this green up arrow. This will take us to the directory above the one we were currently looking at. So you'll see now the tutorial images folder is no longer in the file extension because we are actually in the folder above the tutorial images folder which is the stories folder. Now if we want to get rid of an image that we know we're not using um, we can open the folder where we uploaded the image and just click this X underneath the photo. You can also put a check mark in the box beneath the photo and go up here to the delete button to delete it. And the same is true of directories if we were to navigate up a level and we just want to get rid of this tutorial images directory altogether we can click the X and eliminate it. So these are the basics of the Media Manager. As always, if you have any questions and you'd like to contact us, feel free to do so at servantech.org. Thanks for joining us today.